So I'm going to show you how to get more than 100 power with multiple batteries linked together and only having one output source. So you're going to want to build all the way up, get two wind turbines, and then uh, do a little thing like this. Make sure you push them all the way out to the edge, and then you can squeeze two of them together on a 1x3. So you're just going to build up all the way until you can't anymore, and then build three squares out like that. We're going to use the root combiners as extension cords to bring the power down from these wind turbines. So by building all the way up, you'll be able to get 150 power per turbine on average. Sometimes it dips a little lower, so we're going to compensate with solar panels to make up for the loss on that. You can just get solar panels from the outpost if you don't know, along with some other electrical components if you need them, like medium batteries the large batteries. You're going to have to find them or learn them in the workbench. So now that we've extended our power all the way down here, we're going to use a counter to monitor our power input so that we know when we need to turn the circuit off if our power gets drained or if the circuit is destroyed by raiders. So we're going to show pass through on the counter and now you can see we've got 300 power coming in about. We're going to use a, another root combiner to attach our solar panels and then you can also use these solar panels to do like night lights or have things turn on only during the day or only during the night. That's up to you. We're just using them right now to compensate for the loss of power since we're having three batteries and the wind turbines don't always stay at 150 power. So we're just going to wire those in like this. And now you can see we're up to 330 power. So from here we're going to place our three batteries down and link them all to the splitter. taking the output of the splitter to the input of each battery. And then we're going to use two root combiners to connect all of the batteries together. So the output of each battery going into these root combiners and then connecting them together. And then I would suggest having a switch right here. If uh, your batteries end up draining, all you have to do is put uh, three switches instead of one and connect the output of the battery directly to the switch and then root combine all the switches together. I'm not sure. The active usage goes down, but some of them have two and the far right one has one active usage even when the switch is off, so I'm not sure about that. Let me know in the comments below if this is the proper way to turn all the batteries off, but regardless, we have enough power to keep them fully charged and overcharged. And then they're all connected to these two root combiners right here, making it easier for you to have more than 100 power or whatever you want to do. Have like a bunch of auto turrets and stuff like that. It's just the new way of connecting all the batteries together that wasn't available before the newest update on the electrical stuff. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you next time.